Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday. Observing it as a Sabbath is a blessing to you, uh, but you would be led by the Holy Spirit if you determine to how to appropriate a day of the week set aside for Him. <clears throat> and I'm encouraged, quickened, to uh, share an encouragement with you uh, about really being focused on the kingdom my day began in prayer with him and that was a requirement for me that was like sustenance that was like food and I'm recognizing through the Holy Spirit that if I had not spent time in prayer and fellowship with the king of the universe Yahweh that I would be in a worse position now I'm quickened and understanding that without that, my day would be going in the wrong direction. My day would be going like this, apart from having done that. So I just wanted to, to uh, encourage you with these words that uh, today is our Father's Day. And each day we need to begin with Him prayerfully uh, for counsel, for wisdom, or reverence to him he will direct all of our steps but we cannot uh, take lightly what he can do because our father is everything he is truly our provider our caretaker and uh, we can certainly see and recognize with the Holy Spirit present active living in us that's the electrical conduit for the truth of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit always is attached to a glorification of Jesus every time. If it's not, seek deeply, you know, hey, what is the Holy Spirit for? It really is all about Jesus being glorified um, and we have the opportunity to be vessels of honor and that vessel requires an electric spark, a current. The current is the Holy Spirit, but it's not for us. So the need in the world is increased. The need for prayer, the need for fervency, uh, the challenges and battles that people are going through, uh, in especially including those who have not come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. What is the preparation of the gospel of peace? The preparation is really spent in prayer, prayerful time. So I'm um, just, that's my encouragement for today. Uh, the kingdom of God has come near. Uh, there is a profound need in the body of Christ to uh, arise and shine, to be salt and light each day every day and to be prayerful about that if we're not prayerful opportunities will pass us by time will slip away uh, we will not have a focus a plan the plan is established in our father he will uh, provide for us what we need we seek him first and then he does direct all of our steps he's faithful and true to do that so I only have about eight minutes uh, to sound the shofar today. I'd love to have uh, two hours to just sound the shofar, but it's already been determined because I spent time in prayer that I have many uh, other tasks to accomplish. Um, consider the ant, and the ant is uh, diligent. So diligence is a portion of the blessing of our Father, numbering our days, for he has given us everlasting life, so he already has done this for us. And what is um, the requirement then for us? Because he has uh, chosen us from before the foundations of the earth. And through the Holy Spirit, we're going to recognize that we have been given the right to be sons and daughters of Elohim. This is, get ready for this, I'm going to drop a deep one on you. It is literally, whoo, 
hallelujah. Father, um, those who are listening now, I ask God that you would confirm through the Holy Spirit and through the word that has been implanted in our hearts and through prayer to seek out your will and to confirm through the Holy Spirit and the living word, the living Torah, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus is the word of God, Revelation 19.13, confirmation of what I'm saying is true. It is literally the blood that courses through our veins is literally Yeshua's blood. If this were not so, then I could then it could not be said that you are salt and light. It could not be said that John 7:38 says, "Those who believe in me, Jesus, Yeshua, out of their stomach shall flow living rivers of water." Well, we need to um, have the mind of Christ. We need to be hidden in Christ. It is no longer I who lives, but Christ Jesus of Nazareth who lives within me. When this is uh, so that we are walking in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, when we are walking in Spirit and Truth, then literally Christ, the blood of Jesus, is coursing through your veins. If that sounds woo-woo to you, if that sounds a little flighty to you, then uh, confirm it through the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, for it is truth. Life is found in Jesus. There is no life apart from him. Woo, hallelujah. Very true. Father, glorify yourself. Let your voice be heard.
His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. May the kingdom of Yahweh increase.
in all continents and in all corners. Blessings to you and yours. Be encouraged. Our Father will be glorified. He shall glorify himself. And everyone shall know that he is the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth. Almighty Yahweh. Praise his name. I shall bless the Lord, Adonai, at all times. Amen. <laughs>